everyone. Welcome to Family Living Freya. I hope you are all having a nice day. This is going to be general reading for everyone under the zodiac sign of Capricorn for the month of August. Let's see what is important for you to know. Bring to the surface, not ignore. What is important for you to know? What will help you? I ask for guidance for Capricorn for the month of August. I cut the deck. I begin calling cards for you. So there is something that you are not allowing yourself to understand or see clearly. Maybe because you are being blind by all the things that are happening around you. Let's see guidance. Okay. So there is something that um, is about to start changing. Okay. And when this happens, sometimes um, I feel energetically that you are going to feel like the, either the change is not happening fast enough or the things are either maybe very difficult or feeling like progress is being, is being made really, really slow. You are trying to find the direction uh, either on what to focus on, on what will be best for you, but believe me, there, uh, you are not alone and either you will receive help from people around you or the guidance and the aha uh -huh, um, that you are going to be needing is it will arrive okay it will arrive it will be there with solution to your problems this is also making me feel um letting go letting go sometimes is the best thing that we can do because in letting go we release and we say i don't need it Okay? And when we say we don't need it, or we are not lacking that person, that job, or that situation, everything turns around. Everything can turn around. When it comes to love, what is important to know for Capricorn, for the month of August, about the special person, you have in my name for at this moment. I never thought I talk to you, see you, or feel you again. I know we have a soul connection. So, there you have it. It's a matter of time. Um, guidance from the angels. Let's see what we have here. We have singing and dancing. Express yourself and awaken your psychic, sen your psychic senses through the magical power of music and movement. So if you feel confused, you don't know what to do, uh, pay attention to the lyrics and the song. There might be guiding you. Uh, on what to focus, okay, or on what to on what to do. If you feel down, turn on the radio, put on your favorite song, try to dance, try to change the energy by staying either positive or staying happy. Music sometimes does, okay, even though sometimes it's kind of impossible, okay, I understand when we're feeling very sad or down. But if we like wanna just change, you know, you put on your favorite song and before you notice, you're like, yeah, I feel better, okay? So try that. Uh, so you have, a, uh, you have the truth, okay? You have had a realization or a acceptance. When you have that truth or the clarity about someone or a situation, um, it created a lot of either arguments, fights, but it gives me the feeling like, I, di I didn't expect this. Oh my gosh, it kind of blew in your face. And now um, I see two people that are hurt, but still remaining together or energetically continue walking the same path. Uh, it's two ways that we can be with a person, actually having that person okay, next to us, um, even if we don't talk to them. But the, the way number two is having that person next to you energetically. You thinking on that person. You wake up, think of that person. In the middle of the day, you think of that person. At night, you think of that person. Okay? So, um, in these two ways, either way, you continue walking your path with that person. Here, what I see was very, um, like, okay. Wait a minute. Why are you telling me I like you, I love you, I wanna do this with you or that? 
but I cannot give you what you want. And this is like, then don't give me anything, okay? Capricorn is like, then don't give me anything. Pack it up, roll it out, see you later, okay? But internally, it's not easy, okay? It's not easy because you work in your emotions. Yes, I know what I want. I know that this is the right thing to do. I see, I feel, I have the details. I have accepted that truth or I have uh, that, that realization has blown my face, but you continue in the, in the feelings, in the ups and downs, in the yes, no. And now, please be careful of being too stubborn or convincing yourself that it has to be a certain way. You're gonna close, cut or close communication. Would you like from me? You're not gonna hear, not even a You're not gonna hear no apology. I'm okay, I'm happy, that did nothing to me, I'm dusting this off. Once again, that is on the surface, but internally, that is not happening. If you are a man listening to this reading, um, there's a woman, okay, around you, wanting to say something, wanting to have communication, wanting to spread something, bring that balance back, or have the stability that once you both used to have. For Capricorn, you remain on the pain and what happened and replaying the situation. And I see that some of you are going to be deciding, it's time for me to close this up, remove myself from you, remove myself from the situation, or maybe this is, I need time alone. I need time to heal. Yes, in the process while you are doing this, is um it's um it's difficult it's not easy but when or once okay when or once this person that i see around you okay either man or male um reaches out to you into having this communication that might be the feeling i never thought i'd see you again okay or i never thought that we will have a conversation ever again. I was already letting you go. I thought this was over, finished, done, chasam, whatever you wanna say, okay? Um, so moving into the, what I see next is um, you will be waiting for someone to pay you money or bring back something that you have lent them or let them use. If it's money, they're not paying it. If it's an item, they're not bringing it. Maybe they broke it and maybe they're not freaking out and thinking, oh my God, what am I going to do? What am I going to say to Capricorn about, uh, I broke it and I don't have money. Oh my gosh, choking, okay? It's, uh, but, um, so don't expect that, okay? Don't expect that. Um, I also see that in the following 30 days, okay? So all the month of August, lingering a little bit, August, uh, September, until the 9th of September, you're gonna be trying to build back up um, your empire, okay? Or what you call home, in the place that you feel safe, it's like bringing everything down to reveal back up again. Something that you have prayed for, wanted, or expected is going to turn into a reality. Um, you also have gonna have to make um, a hard decision. Okay, wait, but I it is for some of you it's going to be a decisions hard to make. But for you, for others, I feel choices. You have to choose. Do you stay with who you have been staying or had been with until now? Or is there is there already someone else that can bring there is a potential, okay? There is a potential. That is going to be your decision. That is uh, that is at your hands. Um, Capricorn. I feel that that is all I have for now. Um, please, in exchange of energy, like, share, subscribe, um, follow me, follow me, okay? 
thank you. I wish you all a lovely month. And if you would like to book a private meeting with me, don't hesitate to message me. Thank you. Bye.